Hi everyone, in this week's lab you're going to be determining the percentage clay, silt and sand of your particular soil horizon and using your composite soil sample. By using the particle size distribution results you'll then be able to determine the soil texture of your horizon, whether it's say a sandy loam or a loam or a clay. Now there's two key steps in this particular um, class and these are listed in your lab manual. Basically you're going to have to uh, disperse your soil sample um, which includes removing the organic matter and then in a second step you're going to be fractionating your, that sample uh, into its various components. So what are the key pieces of equipment needed? Well, first of all, uh, you're going to have to weigh your soil sample using uh, a balance that you've checked this level and recording the weight of your soil sample that you have weighed into your aluminium tins. You'll then be taking that soil sample and placing it in a beaker uh, with some hydrogen peroxide. This will then be placed in a frying pan. Sophisticated equipment that we have here in soil science and then you will be heating uh, the solution to help remove the uh, organic matter and during this phase you'll need to pay close attention to the solution to ensure that it doesn't bubble over. Once this is completed, the next step will be to pour it in to a milk shaker cup. You'll also have to add some dispersing agent before then uh, mixing it up using the milk shaker uh, for a set period of time. Now once your sample is dispersed, you're now ready to pour it in to a measuring cylinder. It will have to be well mixed before it is placed in the cylinder and your lab demonstrator will explain to you how you need to do that. Once everything's ready, you will then be able to use uh, this pipette to take a set volume of uh, your sample from a set depth at a set time and you'll need to do it both in the lab but you also have to come back the following day at a set time and take a second sample and the sample will then need to be placed in an aluminium tin which you'll then place in a drying oven. So Kirsty, what's some of the key safety considerations people need to take into account when doing this lab? So there's two main chemicals that you use when you're um, doing particle size analysis. There's hydrogen peroxide, which is a um, which reduces the carbon content in your soils. So this is only at six percent, but it is um, still a bleach product. So safety glasses and gloves um, at all times when using this. Um, that's the first one and then there's your dispersing agent that you'll use a little bit later on in the prac. So this actually contains some sodium hydroxide um, which is what's classed as an alkaline um, chemical um, so it can also can still cause burns to the skin and, um, and can also damage your eyes so still wear safety glasses and gloves when using both of these but don't proceed with using either of these until your demonstrator has shown you how to do it correctly. Fantastic. So as Kirsty said um, when you come to dispensing the dispersing agent, you might not have used this particular type of equipment before, so wait um, and ask your demonstrator to show you exactly how to use it. Okay, so they're the key elements to this lab. Again, the video isn't a substitute for reading your lab manual, so please spend 30 minutes reviewing what's required in this lab, and if you've got any questions, please ask your lab demonstrator. Enjoy the prank.